we're on the trail chasing down the colonial ancestors of my mother. My mother and her baby brother were adopted, which makes finding their biological family tree a little challenging, but not impossible. Equipped with their grandfather's name and a rough date of his death, we were able to find several generations of their biological family through Ancestry.com, which was confirmed by our Ancestry DNA test. We found that my mother's roots go all the way back to German immigrants who were early settlers in Western Maryland and what would become Western Virginia. Today we're on the trail in one of my favorite small towns, Frederick, Maryland. She first got a pound home and it was um, you know, circa 1756. This is an example of the, um, the lower German settlement houses that they had at the same time that my ancestor, John Henry Fortney, uh, when he came in 1730, and he settled in this region. Behind us is Rock Creek, and this is the area of the land where he settled and, and was actually purchased property and, and raised his family. That's right, Mom. John Henry Fortney, who was also Jean Henrique Fortney, came to the colonies in 1730 on a Scottish ship called the Thistle of Glasgow. Like many other immigrants from the Palinate area that would later become Germany, he settled in western Maryland. John Henry was actually killed by a lightning strike in 1753, and his death made the newspaper in Annapolis. One of the interesting things about this article is it tells us that John Henry was part of a religious sect known as the Dunkers. Now, the Dunkers were called that because they believed in total submersion for baptism rather than a sprinkling, and they were pacifist. This article also tells us a little bit about his appearance. It says he had a very long beard, which was um, one of the things that the Dunker sect did. John Henry married uh, Catherine Charity Berger, and uh, this is probably a garden much like she would keep and grow at the back of their house in order to provide the herbs and the vegetables for the family. The herbs to provide not only food, but medicines and, <laughs> and then vegetables. And you see such things growing as the sage and the rosemary and the thyme. Uh, there's parsley. Uh, most of the garden is gone by now because it's already frozen, but it's uh, typical of the lower German settlement gardens that they would have. Catherine Berger Fortney sounds like a remarkable woman. She was widowed at the age of 40, and she already had six kids and was expecting a seventh child when her husband, John Henry, died. She must have been a very capable businesswoman because she added to her family's land that was called Deer Spring by purchasing an additional 436 acres in this area in 1755. Her son, Peter Fortney, is our ancestor. All right, this is, in this church is where Peter Fortney was baptized and uh, his father-in-law, Balasar Port, was, is buried. The Evangelical Lutheran Church of Frederick, Maryland, was uh, the congregation first organized in 1738. 